Hi, and welcome to another Majestic.cloud video. My name is Laszlo, and today I'm going to show you how to share S3 buckets uh, across accounts. So let's see our architecture for this. So we have an account A uh, from which we want to share a bucket that will be accessible to another AWS account that we call account B. And we do that through an IAM role. So this IAM role, uh, which is in account A, defines the permissions that are allowed to be uh, assumed by the um, account B and which will define what he can do with uh, this bucket. And then account B will assume this role and this role will grant it uh, access to the resources within the S3 bucket. Now, this is one way of uh, sharing um, a bucket to another account. There are other ways, but um, I wanted to show you this because this is uh, very powerful and can be applied not only to S3 buckets, but to other AWS uh, resources as well. So let's see it in practice. So here I am in um, account A and here I have two S3 buckets. Uh, first one is majestic.cloud uh, private. This uh, We will not share this uh, bucket. Uh, we just use uh, this for testing the permissions. And then we have majestic.cloud shared bucket and we want to share this bucket uh, with the account B. Uh, this bucket has inside a picture. We'll download load this in the other account once we set up the permissions. Now let's uh, do go to IAM Management Console and uh, create a role for this. And uh, how we do this, click here on Create Role. And here on the Select Type of Trusted Entity, we want to select another AWS account. So we want to grant uh, access to another AWS account. And here we need to enter the account ID of that uh, account. Now let's grab this uh, ID. This is the other account. You see it's G1. Um, and here is the account ID. I will copy this and go back to uh, account uh, A, which is P1. Paste here the um, uh, account ID. And next we go to permissions. And here I will want to create uh, a new policy which I want to attach to this role. Let's click on create policy. A new um, window opens and uh, let's uh, use the JSON editor for this. I've already prepared the, the policy in advance. I will explain it to you. So in this policy, we have three statements. First, we have a statement to, which allows listing the buckets, then uh, list bucket and get bucket location for that specific bucket we want to share. So here you need to add the Amazon resource name or RN of your uh, bucket that you want to share. And finally, we have a third statement that allows get object and put object on that same uh, bucket. Notice here that we have slash and star, so any object on that. If we click back to visual editor, uh, we see also in a visual way this, these three statements. You could define it this way as well. Now let's go to tags. Uh, we, had, uh, add, we won't add any tags now. Review. Now let's uh, create this uh, policy with the name S3 uh, read write policy for bucket let's give it that name create it and once it's created we go back to where we started the role creation and let's refresh this and search for our policy and this is this uh, custom policy so s3 read write policy for bucket 
next no tax review and this will be cross account s3 bucket sharing role we need to keep this in mind so this is it let's create the role now the role is created and we need to go to the other account which is account B and if I go here to S3 and I do a refresh you see I have no buckets whatsoever in this account and now I have to go here to um, this menu here and click on switch roles when you click uh, on switch roles you have this screen you need to enter here the account ID of account A to, for which you want to assume the role the role you want to assume and the display name so I already copied the, the role name this is the role name that we just created uh, display name can be anything let's see give it the same name as the role name color it doesn't matter let's go back and grab the account ID of the uh, of the account A which from which we are sharing the S3 bucket and let's paste this account here and click on switch role and now what happens is that we switch the role this is visually shown here so you can see we are logged in as uh, this role I mean we assume this assume that this role in uh, the other account and in S3 I already can see we have uh, two two S3 buckets and I cannot see this uh, information because of insufficient permissions if I go inside the private um, uh, bucket I will get an insufficient permissions to list objects because I didn't grant permissions on, on this uh, bucket uh, specifically but I gave permission to list all the buckets and now if I go to uh, the shared bucket you can see that I can see the contents of the, the bucket it's a picture as I told you and I will download this picture it's downloaded it, and if I click on the file um, you can see it's a picture of a bird so uh, you could see that I could access this file from the other uh, account what I now uh, can do I can go back to Majestic Cloud to the um, account B or can sign out so if I click to back to Majestic Cloud what happens is that I have no more access to this shared bucket so you see insufficient permissions to list objects and I have no buckets in my own account so this is it as I said uh, there are multiple ways to do this this is just one way but it's very powerful but because you can apply it also to other things not just uh, S3 buckets so I hope you liked this video if you did uh, click on the like button subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon in another majestic.cloud video